in an angry mood. Um, <laughs> but Dennis, thank you very much. Dennis O'Neill. Dennis okay. O'Neill. All right, next to marketing expert Jeff Hazlett, uh, who says that consumers are once bitten, twice shy. So you think there is something to this? Absolutely. They're, it's a bad mood, is what's going on. The people are fuming over so this. So Dennis was drunk and wrong. I think he's a little off. He's been watching the numbers in the market, not really talking to the people. If you get out there and talk to the people, Democrats and Republicans are both agreeing on this issue. I mean, 85% of the consumers are saying they want to see President Obama and Congress do something about it. Now, only 31% of the people say they can actually get something done. But what you're going to see is Americans are going to have to turn back and start turning off of things. When you see a 20% increase in gas since the beginning of the year, and it's only going to go higher, and if it gets to five bucks, they're already saying that that's really going to be a, a But level I'm wondering if we get. put a lot on gas, it might be more than gas. In other words, I noticed before the gas run up, and you're, you're better at this stuff than I am, Jeff, that, that people were already getting a little antsy. And there was a disconnect between the mainstream media and these official reports that say we're off to the races, everything's fine. And then the collective wisdom of average Joes and Joannes who said, well, things might be better, better but they sure as heck ain't great. No, they're not great. In fact, a lot of the consumers are saying they're going to start cutting back. They're already saying, like I was looking at the numbers, 70% are going to dine out less often, 64% less on movies, attractions. I mean, only 21% are going to cancel their online subscriptions. And good news for TV and cable, only 15% are going to cancel those kind of things. But they're going to have to. Well, there is good. Because, you know, you need cable more you than need, you need food. You need yeah. cable more than that, exactly. Right, right. And they're not going to turn off their phones. But, you know, it really comes down to a confidence level in terms of, Every time you go to the pump and have to fill up that tank, and it's a hundred bucks, a hundred and fifty. And I think the longer this lasts, my my theory is is, is that I remember distinctly with Jimmy Carter, it, not that he caused the, the oil crisis, but the longer those pump prices stayed up, then it started. Exactly. spreading its tentacles. Into yeah, and that's really going to have an impact on the election. I think that's really what Obama's got to look for, and I think members of Congress. Now, we've always right. seen the prices of gas come down before the election. Let's see if that happens in this case. But right now, I think consumers are really fed up with it. They're fuming about it, so to speak, to use a gas right. analogy, and they've really got to get something done about it. And the it. truth is, a gas run usually doesn't last this long, so it's already long in the tooth. Well, it's, it been reverses, up, we'll see. it's been up and down. October right. of 2008, it was the highest it's ever been, and now it's higher than it's ever been since that time period. So All it's right. really creeping up. If it gets towards five bucks, we're really going to see some people come unglued. All right. Uh, Jeff, thank you very much. In the meantime, then uh, there's the one slice of the economy that is not slowing down. Apple.